It's your girl Ash and I am back back with another video and today I'm going to be reacting to Obscure Units of Measurements by Sam Anella Academy. We already know Sam is lit. Ashley love her some Sam and if you guys would like to check out my other Sam Anella videos the link will be up at the top and if you haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for hit that red button so you can be a part of the family don't forget to give this video a thumbs up yes hit that thumbs up button enough of me talking y'all let's get straight into this reaction Hey kids, I've been told by a lot of people that there's nothing more exciting than the metric system. They may have a point, but I can I still prove that. them wrong. Today, we're going to talk about some specific lesser known units of measurement. First is the Schmidt Pain Schmidt Index. Pain now, pain anybody pain. could tell you that getting stung by a bug tends to hurt, but just how much does one sting hurt compared to another? Are yellow jackets worse than hornets? Are fire ants worse than honeybees? Let me tell you, I've never been stung by a bee. But, bruh, bruh, like, I think I was like 13, I went to go visit my dad in Alabama, and um, I was just like outside in the yard playing, and nobody ever said, Ashley, watch out for those red ants, be careful, make sure you don't step into a red ant farm oh my god i stepped into a red ant like they were like eating my ankles up i'm getting like oh i'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it my arm hairs are like just standing up like that was like one of the worst feelings of like just being bitten by something um of course i think we all got bitten by mosquitoes that don't really hurt but the after effect the after effect doesn't hurt. It's just more or less like itchiness. Um, what else I got bit by? Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't gotten bit or stung by anything else besides mosquitoes and ant red ants. Comment down below if you ever in your life have been stung by a bee. What does it feel like? Cause your girl don't know. I just know about mosquitoes. And ants, that's about it. Nobody in the world of science knew for sure. That is, until a young upstart by the name of Justin Schmidt decided Justin to boldly Schmidt. go where no entomologist has gone before. But how did he plan to quantify the level of pain caused by different insect stings? Well, it went something like this. Alright, honeybee. This, ow, god, that hurt. I'll give that like a two. Next, paper wasp. This, ah! Okay, that's like a three. <laughs> Next, let's try bullet ant. Jesus Christ, Mary Mother of Satan's left nipple. It's like my hand is made entirely out of urethras, and each and every one is having a red-hot catheter put in and ripped down five times every second. My very being is on fire. My only desire left is for death himself to bless me with sweet what? relief. I'll give that a four. No. Four plus. In all seriousness, though, I'm pretty sure the index is meant to be logarithmic, like earthquake magnitudes. So just like a magnitude 7 earthquake is 10 times as powerful as a magnitude 6, a bullet ant sting causes 100 times as much pain as a honeybee. In what, total, what Schmidt catalogs 78 different species of the order hymen. Is that a red ant? Oh no. Or is it like one of those carpenter ants? Do carpenter ants bite? No, I don't think carpenter ants bite. I don't know. Which includes ants, bees, and wasps. You can tell a man is really dedicated to his job when, after getting stung by 77 insects, he says to himself, you know what? That He's wasn't crazy. enough. I need one more creature to inject its venom into me, and only then will this list be complete. I guess you could say he just really gave a schmidt. No, 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 no. Next is the Waffle House Index. So for those of you that didn't know, the Waffle House is one of the most resilient establishments in the world. Where First of all, Waffle House, I know. Actually, why are you pausing? <laughs> waffle House is overrated. I'm sorry. They waffles. They're, they waffles. The waffles aren't even waffles. The waffles are like cardboard. Like, why do people like the Waffle House so much? Like, I don't know. It's... The Waffle House is not that great. I'm sorry, y'all. It's just, it's not. It's not that great. 
maybe it's great like after you leave a club or like you're drunk or something but to be like oh let's go to the waffle house let's go get some waffles no whereas most restaurants would simply close down in the event of say a hurricane waffle house just goes from their normal mode to disaster response mode following extensive protocol that allows that location to keep serving customers in spite of low food supply and even a power outage in response to this business practice fema came up with what is known as the waffle house index which is a system to easily assess how badly an area is damaged by a natural catastrophe Back. if the waffle house is fully open they're in the green which means things are basically are fine if the waffle house is using their low supply menu you're in the yellow which means that the area is almost certainly mid disaster finally if you're in the red <laughs> that means the waffle house is either closed or gone no now, they still gonna be real open nuclear zombie holocaust type shit going down <laughs> so if you're not already dead you should probably vacate the area most engineers could tell you that structurally speaking the triangle is the strongest of all shapes but i believe that there's one shape that's even stronger Godspeed, Waffle House. <laughs> Next, we have the APGAR score. So the APGAR score is a rating system used by hospitals to determine how healthy a newborn baby is on a scale from 0 to 10. It's called APGAR based on its five criteria, which include appearance, pulse, grimace, activity, and respiration. And each of these is rated on a scale from 0 to 2 to get... You know what? I never knew this. I definitely did not know this really okay sam coming through with the knowledge appearance for yeah i didn't, had no idea your final score personally i think this set of standards is a little flawed here's an example well it's completely blue and it doesn't really want to move at all but it's got a really fast heartbeat and it's screaming really loudly. I'd give this baby like a 6 out of 10. That's good enough. So in response, I've invented my own rating system. It's called the Ragu score. R is for reflexes. It's common knowledge that if you hold any healthy Here baby he by goes. its feet and then drop it, it'll always land up right. If your baby can't do that, that's a sure sign like that it's I said, defective. A is for before. abnormality. If your so baby seems that. weird, that's typically a good indicator that it's weird. G still stands for grimace, just like in the Apgar test. Only instead of looking at the baby's facial expression, you just bring Grimace from McDonald's into the room and see how the baby reacts. If it starts crying, that's a good sign because Grimace is absolutely fucking terrifying. And finally, U is for ugliness, just because that might sway your decision on whether or not you want to keep it. Now, if the baby passes the test, it gets to go home. But if it fails, then it gets shipped off to the factory and made into ragu, hence the name of the test. Some people might be upset by this fact, but you know what they say, pray go today ragu tomorrow anyway that's all for today till next time i'm sam Manella, and thank you for watching oh my god love you sam yes um yeah i don't i never been bitten by anything i've never been bitten by a dog i'm not scared of dogs i don't like cats um and Waffle House isn't that great, guys. Like, literally, it's just not that great. But people love it. I don't know why. And Waffle House never, like, they never close, like, at, they're, they're always open. Like, hell, snow, sleet, rain, flood. Um, It could be an earthquake. I, they're open. Yeah, they're open. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And give your girl a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, fam.